<sighs> I reckon we ought to head to school early this time. I'll have to introduce you to the teachers in all for starters. I'll go along with you this time. But from tomorrow on, you'll make the trip by yourself. Let's hit the road! And that's about the sum of it, Mr. Principal, Mr. Vice Principal. So, I'll be leaving the kid in your hands. Go on, show your manners and say hello. Oh, it looks like we'll have another fun addition to our class. What a delight. I'll be glad to take responsibility for the education of your young charge. Good. I'll just be seeing myself out then. Hmm. Just don't make any trouble in school. We've already got enough troublemakers on our hands. I can't weather another scandal. Now, now, Vice Principal Watchhog. I would say that's quite unnecessary. Do we truly have any troublemakers at our fine school? <laughs> of course we do! One in particular, the very bane of my existence. You know exactly who I'm talking about, Mr. Principal, and don't you deny it. My dear Vice Principal, I'm sure you'd never mean to speak ill of our precious students. Good morning, Mr. Farfetched. Ah, yes, good morning. Morning, Mr. Farfetched. And a good morning to you, Miss Daling. Morning, Teach. Hey, Teach. Why are you always carrying that leak around with you, huh? Well, it would be quite far-fetched for me not to carry around such a useful tool. I'm afraid you're wrong about one thing, though. This is no lake, it's a stock. Uh... But never mind that now. Come along, everyone. Do you hate? It seems as though the students have begun to arrive. Let's introduce you to your new classmates, shall we? Everyone, I have a special treat for you. We have a new friend joining us today. You'll all be learning together from now on. Th that's the kiddo! You're the one from yesterday. What's that? It looks like some of you are already acquainted with our new friend. For those of you who are not, I'd like you to meet Mike. Mike has just moved here and lives with Mr. Nuzleaf, who you may know. I hope you'll all get along very well. Uh, I'm gonna be late! Ah! Typical. The troublemaker strikes again. Oh, sorry, sorry. You okay? What? Y you're the one I... It's that crazy kid from yesterday. Everything's going black. Can't... Hold on. Huh? Where am I? Oh, you've come back to us. This is the school nurse's office. You blacked out and lost consciousness. It was Chikorita who took you out. Do you remember anything? Well, it's good that you're awake now. Looks like you should be fine. Oh, me? I'm Audino. I'm actually the village doctor, but I also help out teaching health here at the school. I'm sure you'll see me around. I'm afraid class has started without you. If you feel up to it, Mike, you should probably hurry back to join them. Uh, let's join them. I gotta kill you for H for XP! Ah! <laughs> you didn't know Audino in the regular games? It gives you a lot of XP. So, uh... In the end, the Graveler, fed up with his lack of sleep, decided to try counting Mareep. One Mareep, two Mareep, three Mareep, four Mareep, five Mareep, six Mareep. Oh, there's Mike! I'm awake! I'm listening! Mike! You're finally awake! Are you okay? It was totally my fault for running into you like that! Excuse me? We're in the middle of class, you know. 
No one said you could leave your seats. Sorry, Mr. Farfetched. Mike, are you well enough to rejoin the class? In that case, please find your seat. There's a space open up next to Chikorita. <laughs> Oi! All eyes up front! Yes, sir! Now then, let me continue with the reading. Let's see, where were we? Yes, yes, right about here. Seven Marie, eight Marie, nine Marie, ten Marie. Thanks again for yesterday. We owe you, Mike. You really saved Gumi out there. Wait a minute! Just what did you do, Mike? Suddenly everybody loves you around here! Huh! What a bunch of dummies! Hey, Pan Jam? I've got a good idea. What kind of idea, shall we? Well, you see... Goodbye, Mr. Farfetched! Yes, see you tomorrow. See you later, Mr. Farfetched! Yes, yes. You take care on your way home. Hey, Mike! Let's walk home together! Alright! I'm sorry I never got to finish showing you around the plaza yesterday. I'm afraid a little something popped up and got in the way. <laughs> but today! Today's a new day! How about I take you around after this? What? You've already shown yourself around? Oh, that's that, I guess. Oh, I know! In that case... How about this? I've got someplace really good to show you. Someplace really good? Yeah! It's the best! And you'll feel great after visiting it! You'll see! Don't you want to check it out right away? Really? You'll really come with me? All right, you're the best! Then follow me! This way, hurry! Hold it right there! Hey, I told you to stop, didn't I? What is it? We've got some place to be, so... We weren't talking to you. It's him who needs to hear us out. So, Mike, you did a pretty good job making it out of the foreboding forest yesterday. What? Mike, you went into the foreboding forest yesterday? No one is talking to you, you little... Anyway, Mike, don't go thinking that making it out of the foreboding forest means you're tough. Yeah, don't go thinking that. There are way scarier places than that in the world. Yeah, there are. There are? Where? Huh. Right, I forgot. You're an expedition society wannabe or whatever. Back to the point. If you can clear an even scarier dungeon, then we'll admit you've got some guts. So how about it? You up to the challenge? Yeah, I'll go! I'll go! No one is talking to you! <laughs> I like this chikorita. <laughs> Isn't this... the Drillber Coal Mine? That's right. This is a mine that the Drillber run. But it's not only a mine, it's also a mystery dungeon. The path splits in two halfway into the mine. If you take the path on the right, it'll just continue on into the regular old mine. The path on the left is usually barred. We want you to sneak into that left path and bring back some red stones as proof. 
kind of stopped listening there for a while, but I think I've got it. So we just need to find some red stones. That's right. Do that, and we'll admit to everyone that Mike has real guts. I'll have you know that I cleared the dungeon in no time flat. Really? That's amazing! Yeah, well, that's just how good I am. <laughs> Never mind that it's a total lie. They'll find out for themselves once they see what lives down there. <laughs> so why is no one supposed to go down that left path anyway? Huh? You, you really want to know? Oh! Nope, nope, don't tell me! It's way more interesting to find out for yourself firsthand. Right, Mike? Y yeah, it is. What a relief. That settles it, Mike. Let's go give it a try. Hey, hey wait! Why are you inviting yourself along, huh? No one ever said you could go. Well, wait just a sec there, Pancham. Hmm? What now? This could be our big chance. After all, Chikorita is super annoying, right? I get you. Yeah, we could do that. Fine then! The two of you can both go! Just bring us back those red stones! I've been planning to show you one of my favorite places, but I guess it can wait. Let's go and check out that dungeon! Ugh! Ugh. Um, where are you two going? Inside? You're that little rascal from the village. And this is a mine, you know. A mine is no place for a child. I see, I see. Sorry to have bothered you. Since that's the case, Mike, let's look for an opening so we can sneak in past these guys, okay? An opening to sneak in? What part of that is sneaking? You said it right in front of us. Y you can't do that. Don't worry about it. We'll be real sneaky so you don't notice a thing. What? But if you want to get ready first, we don't have to go right away. You can get to the plaza that way. If you need some items, head to the plaza first. What do you think? Do you want to go on right into the mine? Gotcha. Let's stop by the plaza. So I'm just gonna empty my stuff into this deposit box. Uh... So what am I gonna take with me? I do not need an elixir. So let's get rid of my elixirs. The dungeons shouldn't be too bad. Early game. Uh, I don't need this radar orb. Don't need the elixir. I'm just gonna just really empty this. Uh, I maybe keep that. Uh, I'm gonna save that warp wand for later. Wow, I have a lot of elixirs. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna get rid of two orange berries too. Okay. All right, cleared up some clutter. Let's go now to the Drillbird coal mine. Ugh. No way! They can't really mean to go back into the mine! If they are, then I guess we have to stop them. Um, I... Well, see you... Uh. Oh, well... Okay, well, they... Kinda let us in the mine. So the story's kinda fun. I'm really liking the partner Pokemon in this one. It's kind of a... Uh, the little hyperactive troublemaker. Usually you get like kind of the kind of, oh, I, I don't have the bravery to start a, a, a guild of a rescue team. Oh, but you, Gary Stew Pokemon with a human name, you could help me. Now I have the courage. That's what their usual routine in these kinds of games are. Um, well, let's try to find these red stones that probably gonna be like an excadrill or something at the end. Oh, my accuracy went down. Let Chikorita take care of that. What is that? Oh, it's Ponyta. I shouldn't let it hit Chikorita. That fool's fire types against grass is never good. Is that an orange berry? Yeah, take it, Chikorita. And get that money. I gotta hit one of those pads too, because my 
accuracy is down, and that's kind of annoying. Ugh. Uh oh. Uh, use it on Jikorita. Uh, take that. Uh, how's Chikorita's HP? It's 51. 51 out of 51, that's good. I gotta find one another one of those. What is that? Uh, I don't wanna mess with that until I find either the stairs or a tile. Yeah, there. Where are the stairs at? It's gotta be up here. Sort of looks like the hot spring from Kid Icarus. That yellow water, or the beer water. Oh god, there's fire Pokemon in here. Why couldn't there be ground? Or then they kind of hurt me then. Oh no, he put me to sleep! Uh, maybe I could defeat it before I fall asleep. Oh, you can wake up your teammates, that's cool. Oh, there's the stairs right there. Uh, so let's go deeper in this mine. What is that Pokemon up there? I can't even tell what it is. Oh well, let's just fire a flame burst at it. Oh, it's Ponyta. Oh, I could sort of, it looks like a giant candle. <laughs> like the tail of Ponyta looks like a candle. Uh, still kind of hurting from that status effect. I remember what you taught me, Nuzleaf. Oh, Chikorita has ancient power? That's pretty OP. Where's Chikorita going? Go on there, yes. Uh, I'd like to find that Clink, because I could probably kill it in one flame burst. Uh, where are the stairs? Oh, it's just telling me about the belly thing. How could I tell my belly right now? Uh, let's go to my items. Let's just eat. Do I have a hunger meter anywhere? I don't really see it, but oh well, let's just eat it. Oh, there you are, Aaron. It's Samus Aran. <laughs> I sort of like this combination of fire and grass. It kind of covers my water weakness. Sort of why I chose Chikorita too. I wanted a grass type. Since I got Chespin, I, I don't really like Chess. most of the... Actually, I don't like any of the Gen 6 starters, so I wanted something else. I know you're supposed to take what you get, but I think that's only for your starter Pokemon. How did that not do more damage? Grass should be strong against rock. Just I'm getting some good levels here. Oh, new move. What do I get? Ember. Oh, it tells me the power too. Why would I want Ember when I have... Well, let's get rid of Scratch, I guess then. Let's forget Scratch. Yes, forget Scratch. I like how my special attack's going up, too. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of long-range attacks with Charmander. Uh, am I missing something? I guess I gotta go hang a left here. Next left, right here. I haven't been up here yet. Uh, let's go up more. Where are those stairs? Oh, Chikorita's out of... Ah, uh, Can Ember go through the wall? Yep, it can. Uh, let's give Chikorita an elixir. Give to Chikorita. There you go. Oh, here we go. A lot of warp tiles there. Oh, no. You get on there, Chikorita. There you go. Uh, ouch. There. Got the double team. 
What? Razor Leaf was upgraded? I didn't know you could do that. That's a new feature. When the moves get stronger, the more you use them. That was sort of like in... I've probably used that mechanic a ton of times in RPGs, but... This is new to Mystery Dungeon. I don't remember that ever happening. Oh, there's a Pokemon. I could snipe him off. Oh, it's Cubone. Screw you and screw your mom, Cubone. That's evil. There's actually a, a Pokemon card that's like really depressing. It shows Cubone alone in an amusement park and he's looking at a, a child with its mother. It's really depressing artwork. I don't wonder how Cubone's mothers die. Did they just die giving birth or something? Maybe. Oh, where are those stairs? It's a little bit of a chore to find these stairs sometimes. Sometimes you find them right away, and sometimes it just takes forever. And that can make or break you sometimes, too. Uh, I'll take that apple. Thank you very much. I've got to get that thing. Should be careful with my... Oh, well, the tile's right there. Uh, let's just make him come over. Oh, he's sniping me, too. Well, I could snipe you, too! You regen health in this game, too, so you don't absolutely need to use the Orin Berries. They're only good if you're going against, like, really tough Pokemon. So maybe I should save them. And I get another level? Oh, Chikorita gets to level up. Okay. I forget what speed matters in this game, though. So I'm all at a PP for uh, Flame Burst. I'm betting this is only like five floors, so I should be okay. Get on there. Where is that exit? I'll do a tackle. Oh, this is a big floor, judging by this map. I know you guys can't see it, but it's pretty big. Oh, there's the door. Or there's the stairs. And there's a Pokemon over there. Maybe I could snipe it with Ember. Oh, okay. It's a little annoying how there's fire Pokemon down here. Because it's the only type I'm not good against. Ironically, but I have a resistance to it, so I guess it can work. Probably just one more floor after this. Oh, no, I'm here. Huh? Can those be outsiders? We've come pretty far. Oh, hey, Mike, look at that! The path splits in two right there. There's nothing in that tunnel there, but... This branch is all blocked up, so no one could go in. That's what Pancham said, right? We're supposed to go down the block path and get some red stones. I guess this must be the place. Let's check it out, Mike. Uh, hold it right there. This is no place for children to play. And it looks like you're thinking of going into the tunnel over here, but no one's allowed in this tunnel. Not ever for any reason. Oh, so it really is forbidden to enter. Thanks for telling us. No, no, no need to thank me. Wait, do you still mean to go in? Yeah, I think we're gonna go in. But I'm probably gonna cut the part off right here. So we're gonna enter this tunnel, see what's waiting for us. It's obviously a trap, but we'll see what it is next time. So see ya. No, 